Hello Borough fans and welcome to the final whistle here on Borough Fan TV. I'm Joe, I'm here along with Gessie and AJT. We're outside the Riverside, a one-all draw against Leeds United. AJT, yeah. all I can say is a cruel tr twist of fate really cost us in the end. That's what I am, innit? Um, you know what I mean? We brought a battle all game, it's just a shame to concede at the end, Joe. Yeah, Gessie? It's a bad habit that we've got into where we conceded late to Newport. We've done the same again here at the Leeds. The difference between here and Newport is we, we didn't decide, deserve uh, we didn't deserve to concede today. We scored the goal. We defended deep. We allowed the leads to come on to us. But I felt I felt comfortable. I felt we weren't giving them absolutely nothing. They were hitting more long awful balls than what yeah. we were. Yeah. They were going for the long rake and Hollywood pass across the pitch. And more than more often than not, it was going out. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It was first half especially. Yeah. But like you say, the Borough players today, every single one of them. You know, from Darren Randolph again in the second half, absolutely unbelievable. How we stopped some of them shots. That I mean, double you, save, that you, double you, save he made was You can't see from our end, you just know it's hitting him, <laughs> sitting him in the head, sitting him yeah, in the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. And it, it just gets in the way of everything. Yeah, well, fair play to every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. John Obi McCall was absolutely immense yeah. today. Yeah, John Obi McCall, what a play we've got there, innit? He, he, he brings all the class, he brings all the class to him, to the game. No, you can does. see the way he's, you can see where he's been, you can see he's been there and done it. He's strolling about the pitch, he's pinging the ball here and there and everywhere. And where we're in advanced positions, where Clayton doesn't get involved in that, Obi Mikel is in the final third, he's taking the ball and he's passing and he's probing, not turning, going backwards and sideways. So yeah, he's a massive, massive, absolutely fantastic free transfer. No, he's unbelievable, Mikel. Like I say, man, the experience he's got to win the Champions League, to win the league, play underneath Prime Jose Marino, you know, let's have it right. He's only going to give confidence that team and experience of the team isn't he? especially in these sort of big games as well I think he, I thought he played a massive part today he bossed that midfield they yeah. couldn't get nothing listen man he was unreal so yeah it took him about 10-15 minutes to get his legs going but then I felt then after he was absolutely outstanding second half he was unreal every single challenge you knew for a fact if he went in for it he was getting the ball off your like. Yeah. yeah Adam Clayton and more best when they went on there were a few boos for obvious reasons yeah. after Newport yeah. was it a bit harsh from no. the Borough perspective no yeah no, no. I've got the disagree there AJ Adam Clayton came on when we were 1-0 up we're 1-0 up we're comfortable against Leeds we bring Clayton on he doesn't deserve to get booed when your side's 1-0 up yeah, but Tuesday night was a joke man but Tuesday night Tuesday night's gone now where's the apology right Pulis has came out and said he's sorted things out in the dressing room we can't keep holding the players to account for actions because we've got to be responsible for our actions sometimes the things that we shout at the players and if we get a bit back the annoying thing is, is when the likes of Gestead's giving you it back, it wasn't really set the place on fire. Yeah. I've been here when Stewie Downland's told us all to fuck oh, off. Oh yeah. But yeah, Liverpool away. Stewie Downland's give us all for everything at this yeah. club, so I, I think he has a he's a has a right though sometimes. But let's just move on from uh, let's just move on from uh, Tuesday night, and you know, let's try and get behind this lad. Thirty thousand this team, yeah. thirty thousand in that crowd today. Yeah. All pulled together, all pulled together for Luke Jobson. Yeah. Sang the rat out for the borough. At the end of the day, we got a point out of it. Yeah, like I say, both fans came together for Luke Jobson today. It was a yeah. perfect tribute to him, uh, AJ. Yeah, really nice and credit to the Luke, uh, obviously credit to the Leeds fans as well for doing it. Yeah. Like massive, you, massive respect. None of us want to see our kids go out, our the young, young lads like yourself, yeah. go out on a night out and never come home. You know, it's an absolutely tragic story. Or you know, I, you know, I just can't comprehend what that family's going through. But like you say, both sets of fans came together today and fair play to the Leeds lot, fair play to the Riverside, absolutely fitting tribute to a, you know, young, just, a young man. A young so you just, you, that's all he was, man, just a young lad who loved life, so fair play. Yeah, like I say, West Brom, we won, obviously the draw with these, AJ. Yeah. Now, going on to Wednesday night, we travelled to Bramall Lane, big game against yeah. Sheffield United. Massive, massive joke. It's got to be three points, surely, mate. It has to be, but at the same time, this is no different today. Do you know what I mean? We know about their threats, Joe, Billy Sharp is their man. And away from Billy Sharp, they've got a lot of other key players in their team. Uh, it's just, you know what I mean, the two, you know, Wednesday night's just going to be as hard as what it was today. So. Yeah, David McGoldrick will be one of them. Yeah, and like I say, do you know what I mean, they have a pretty good team down in Sheffield United. And I think they were top of the league last night, weren't they, until they went in, conceded the three. Sheffield United went 3 and up, went top of the league. Yeah, they took the main league. man off, and then they went top of the league. You know, we're, we're going to go there Wednesday night. We've got absolutely shot some pelters at their keeper, because he is shite. Their keeper is yeah, yeah, fucking is. shite, yeah, is. and we have to put him under it 100%. Yeah. If it means getting Casted on to jump all over him, we've got to get all over there because he is their weak link, and you're only as strong as your weakest link. Considering he's on loan from Manchester United as well. No, it's just 
It still makes him even more shite. <laughs> I don't care where That's he's from, true. Joe. That's he true. does not look like a goalkeeper. We need to get at him. And like you say, they showed us soft underbelly last night, Sheffield United. And we have the type of play, the way Pulis sets us up away from home. Yeah. Uh, like you say, hopefully we come back from there with something positive. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah. Like I say, both fans, next game, Sheffield United at Bramble Lane on Wednesday the 13th of February with a 7.45pm kickoff. So until then, it's goodbye from Guesty. Good night for the fans. It's goodbye from AJT. And I'm off to Motown. Yep, until then, Borough <laughs> fans, we'll see you later. Keep the faith and up the borough.